Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Lipsy. I'm a squat specialist and today I'm going to talk about a key component of the squat or the deadlift that most people do not do when they make their movements. So I'm going to give you an example of how that works right now. When you go into a squat or begin the lifting phase of a deadlift, your knees are in the way of the bar, especially in the deadlift, but not in the squat. Your knees are in the way of the, uh, the bar, like so. Here you are here, set down here. However you do your deadlift, you can see me this way. My knees are blocking the bar. In order for me to lift up, the knees have to pull back. We already know that, we've reviewed that a bit. But what I want to show you is what the hips do. The hips behind me are going to rise, as is the collarbone. And once the barbell clears my knees, I thrust up. The delay in what's called flexion, or sorry, extension, is a key component of generating power on the squat and on the deadlift. So when you are in a flexed position, when the bum is out and you're down in the hole on a squat, when you go to rise up, you can't begin to bring your hips into, into extension. What you'll do is create a weight transfer. It doesn't, it doesn't really work. But people still do it, and they don't keep the barbell line on their heel. So here you are here, set like so. You go down into a squat, let's just say here. And then when they come up, the first thing they do is knees. And then if, if the bum goes forward, then the knees are going to move. The barbell is going to move as well, left to right. So what you're going to do is take your deep breath in, get yourself set into your squat. And right here, you pull the knees back, hips stay back, and then thrust. Okay. It's a wicked snap, it's a violent snap at just the right moment. Everybody has to find their timing. I can't tell you the exact moment on the ascent on your squat where it's going to be, but you play around with it and find that timing. Just don't bring the hips into extension too soon. Another common error you'll see that relates to this is when you squat down and people will come up, knees will come back or they'll stay where they are and then somewhere halfway up the knees go forward and the hips try to go into extension as well. So make sure you apply these principles and I'll give you one more review on the deadlift on how it works. You're down here, you've got the bar picked up and then you knees go back, hips are still in flexion and pop. You'll need a lot of core strength and a solid brace in the torso to make it happen. If you're unfamiliar with that, I'm going to give you some information on that coming soon as well as I did some video with two very prominent figures in the world of performance. One of them is a world champion, and one of them is one of the world's best in biomechanics. He's trained a ton of legends. He himself is a legend, so you're going to see that footage soon. If you want to catch that footage and not miss it, be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you want more information on squats, visit www.howtosquat.net. And as well, feel free to ask any questions as well. Just fire off some questions on this medium, YouTube here, and I'll be sure to answer them as fast as I can for you. Enjoy this, and I'll see you next time.